Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today we are going to talk about two important updates. The first one is related to Nirbhay subsonic cruise missile and second update is going to be regarding the India's stealth unmanned combat vehicle Swift. These updates are coming out from the interview of ED's director Dr. S. Venugopal with Tarmac Media House. As we all know that Nirbhay is a subsonic cruise missile having a range of 1500 kilometers and speed between 0.7 to 0.9 Mach. Nirbhay missile program has been successful and it was a technological demonstrator to prove the indigenous cruise missile technology. The Nirbhay project is a technically closed now. The next phase of trials which we have witnessed last year was for a new indigenous technology cruise missile ITCM. It will include small turbofan engine STFE called Manik developed by gas turbine research establishment GTRE and a radio frequency RF seeker from research center Imarat RCI. A separate air launched variant and submarine variant is also being developed. The two trials of the ITCM conducted in 2021 was a partial success. As per the AD's chief, there are two more tests planned for ITCM post which the missile will complete its test and will be ready for production and induction. Nirbhay missile is powered by a Russian NPU Saturn engine which will be replaced by indigenous STFE engine of 400 kg of thrust class. This engine is extremely important for Indian aerospace sector as it's going to power all future UCAVs and UAVs. DRDO's Project Aura is probably the most secretive aircraft project of the Indian government which is aimed to develop an unmanned stealth deep penetration strike bomber for Indian armed forces. It is to be developed in two phases. In phase one, a smaller version of UCAF called Swift, a stealth wing flying testbed will be developed. In phase two, actual and bigger UCAF will be developed which will be known as Ghatak. Swift will act as a flying testbed for Ghatak UAV. The testbed method is a right segue to move to a full scale product. This year, in June, India has started ground level trials of the first assembled prototype of its SWIFT. Recently, we have also seen SWIFT UCAP has completed successfully taxi trials for both slow and fast speeds. During taxi trials on the SWIFT UCAP, it was tested for its sharp maneuvers, turns while keeping the engine powered. During low, medium and high speed taxi trial on SWIFT UAV, its performance and instrumentation was checked and studied at the time it increases its speed. SWIFT has got clearance for the first full flight which we will be seeing soon. As per the AD's director, the first flight of SWIFT is expected early this year. Talking about SWIFT UAV specifications, its wingspan is 5 meters and has a length of 4 meters. It will have a range of 200 kilometers and service ceiling of 6 kilometers with endurance of 1 hour. Swift will be powered by a NPO Saturn 36 MT turbofan engine. The plan is to replace it by Manik small turbofan engine STFE at later stage which has been already successfully tested on Nirbhay cruise missile. After all these successful tests, Swift will be ready for the development of Ghatak UCAV which will be made using this technology. The full-scale Ghatak UCAVs will be powered by a dry Kaveri engine variant which can generate maximum thrust of 52 kN. It is said to employ a fluid thrust vectoring exhaust nozzle which will provide the ability to an aircraft, rocket or UCAV to manipulate the direction of thrust from its engine to control the altitude or angular velocity of the vehicle. It is expected that the first flight test of the first prototype of Ghatak UCAV will be conducted by 2024. 
the UCAF will be capable of releasing missiles, bombs and precision guided munitions. It will be India's combat drone with a stealthy fly wing concept aircraft, internal weapons bay and a turbofan engine. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.